Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We back Friday. Live with Ad Five. And um this is episode four, people. And I'm lit. I'm super lit. This is episode four. That means that I did three of these bad boys. And this is number four. I'm so I can't even explain like um this this process and I can't explain this idea, this idea started, I was at work and I work night, so I got a lot of time and I got a lot of time to think. And one day I was like, yo, I'm just going to do it. And I, I just did it. It was like a Wednesday and I did it that Friday. So you know what? Just do it, people. So um, anyway, last week was episode three, live from Puerto Rico. I'm back. I'm in New York. I'm home. I got my tan. This ain't no filter. This ain't no filter. I know y'all hating right now. I was in Puerto Rico for a week. My son and my mom's. I did um, episode three with my boy Frank. The biggest. That was my biggest show. Hey, maybe this will maybe this will be the biggest after this. You know, after episode three, episode four might be the biggest. I don't know. As of right now, thank you, Frank. That interview. Everyone hit me up. Everyone was excited. Um, you told me your phone was, was, was off the hook. My, 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 my DMs and my phone was off the hook. Um, our story was beautiful. Your, 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 your story was beautiful. Your, your journey was beautiful. And this is why I do this people. I don't do this for clout. I don't do this to look at myself. You know, I am a little conceited sometimes, but no, this is not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for you, for, for you guys to know my, that my friends is dope. And you know what? I'm going to make a shirt. And the girl that makes my shirts is here today. Her, her name is Elena. And I always have an issue with that because I don't know. Helena, Elena is always a big deal. Uh, it's always a little confusing. So without no further ado, the baddest woman hustler that I know. The baddest. So the rest of you females that I know, step your game up. Because this one is the baddest. So... Elena, the invite is on the way. Give me a little. Give me some time. Let's get it cracking. Episode four, people. Yes, I've done this three times. This is number four. And we lit. I'm just waiting for her to join. I got my beer. It's IPA. Let's get it popping. Where you at? Ah, but, um, yo, I'm so excited. Because um, this is episode four, people. And next week is episode five. And I'm just, I'm just excited. And um, we're just waiting for Elena to come. And, um, you know, when she gets here, we're going to get started. I don't know if she got the invite. Let me say another one. I don't know. What's going on here? Hey, what's going on here? You got to accept. I invite, and then you hit accept. Sorry. Sometimes she's busy and her brain is a little shuffled. Unable to join. How are you unable to join? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Technical difficulty. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It might, it might be me. I don't know. I got a new phone. It might be me. It might be me. I got a new phone. Try to take it. Try to, try to take that one. I don't know what's going on. Let's try again. People, this is live. This is this is part of the this is part of the live. You know, sometimes you got a little technical difficulty. I don't know why she can't join. What's going on? You said you said me. Oh, you just gotta join. I don't know. Yo no sé. Yo no sé. Como esta? Yo no sé. Yo no sé. Yo no sé. There you yo, what was the I don't know what she can do. What's going on? on the I'm trying to join on the computer. You know what? I've never I've never interviewed anyone on a computer. Yeah. So you know say you 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 did some new shit today. <laughs> I mean I I really would like to hey, join on the computer about you. so I can see. We live, bigger. it's already happening. Episode four. This is Elena okay, People, fine. the That's baddest fine. hustler that I know. And I'm and I'm I'm saying that loud and proud. She made this T-shirt. She she's made my T-shirts for the last five six years, and 
a lot of you think that's not a big deal, right? So before yeah. before I get into like her her real life, I'm just gonna talk about this t-shirt thing, because a lot of you think that you can just go and make a t-shirt. My my boy Frank explained last week that it's almost impossible to make to order to go to a store and say, hey, you know, um, I want one shirt. I'm on a softball team and and they don't have my number and I want I just want the number five or ten or whatever. They're gonna tell you, nah, bro. We need you need a dozen or you need twenty four. So if you need your if you need Atlanta services for t-shirts, hit her up. She will make you one shirt. She will make you one <laughs> whatever you want. That shit will say one whatever shirt. you want. I'm an asshole. Your wife's a bitch. Whatever you want. She will print that shit. This is my uncle. Uh, he passed away uh, unfortunately, and I hit her up. I said, Yo, when I go to the funeral, I want to be lit. And this is my my uncle. His name is Papa Pops, and I love him. And that's just one of the many things. But this week, I'm not doing business first. Last week, I did business, then family. This week, I'm doing family first because I think it's more important because her family is beautiful. Her, her husband is my brother. I love him. Um, I, actually, I actually knew her husband first. And then, um, you know, but we'll get into that in, in, a, in a couple of, down the road. We're going to start with you. How are you today? How was your day? Okay. So busy. Oh my right. God. We're gonna get so to busy. your business and so, your ventures, so and, and uh, for now, let's talk about you, because this is about you. This is not about me. This is about you. So, we're gonna start with the cliche questions. Um, <laughs> where'd you grow up? Where you're from? Where were you born? Blah blah blah. I grew up in the Bronx. Yo, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jacoby. Frank was born in Jacoby too. That's I back to back. To That's back to back Jacoby. I heard that. Yes. I heard that. So I was like, oh. <laughs> right. And I was Yo, like, oh, I can't wait to see right I was born in Jacoby next week. <laughs> 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 and I grew up in uh, Castle Hill. Castle Hill. Um, and Castle and Hill. Uh, mom, dad, siblings, what's up? Yeah. Mom, dad, not together, but both happily married. And I have one sister, younger, right. uh, eight and a half years younger. And that's You're the first I'm everything. The oldest. I don't even know what that means, everything. but we're going to run with it. We... First grandchild, okay, first, first everything. niece, got you. first daughter. Right, you lost daughter, me, but I got you. Um, and school. Where, you, you look like you went to a private school. <laughs> I don't know. You got like private school face. Nah, 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 nah. I went to all public school. My elementary is right down the block from Lafayette. That gotcha. PS138 elementary school right there in the corner on Olmstead. That's my uh, elementary school. And then uh, middle school somewhere in the neighborhood too. And then I went to the high school. Wow. So we start, we're starting house. to scratch the surface of, of, of the hustles. Yes. Ex okay. Okay. So uh, where now, my creativity from, came from. That, from that, we're going to go into degrees. What, what happened after that? So after that, I went to John Jay, and I got a bachelor's in forensic psychology. Oh, my God. So I yo, can tap into yo, the mind. Yo, people, I, I need Very everyone well. to go get a pen and pencil. And everything, every time she says something that she does, just write it down. Because at the end of this shit, I want to I wanna know the talents. Like, the talents are crazy. I'm so impressed. Um, All right. So... So let's talk about. Yeah. Oh, and then, wait, um, you see? I told you. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Yo, I'm not I told done. you. She's done. lit. She's lit. Go ahead. I'm and sorry. then after that, I decided to go to Berkeley and I got a bachelor's in fashion marketing and management. Anything else? I'm just, I'm just waiting for you to say I'm done. <laughs> and then after that, oh. <laughs> I became a, a licensed okay. esthetician. Wait, 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 wait. So, uh, I know what that is, but I just learned like two days ago. Say it again. Now, what is that? Licensed what does that require? What do you have to do? Esthetician. It's pretty much uh, an appearance enhancement license. You have to take your state boards. And that uh, pretty much includes uh, anything that's going to make you look good. So facials, uh, body waxing, oh. eyelash extensions, microblading, <laughs> tattooing, laser hair removal, body sculpting. I this mean, is this is fucking on. hilarious. The, the amount, amount of shit. 
No, now, now you just now you just showing off. Then, 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 go ahead. Uh, we got time. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, you know the little things. If you want something wow. notarized, you can call me. You know, if you need me to write well, a grant for you, you I can do Tuesday, that. You're signing you a know. big ass check, but you know, we get we get to that in a minute. So let's 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 talk about how we met. Yeah, so, I do that too. Before we actually met, I heard of you because okay. um, one of my other saw boy uh, brothers, Danny, um, he took a tour of the brand new that was it was being renovated. The brand new Yankee Stadium was was happening, and um, we had a game. And he comes to the game, yep. and he was like, "Oh, you know, me, Eric, and the family, we went to a tour." And I'm like, "What the fuck? I want a tour." So I was like, "Yo, you know, that's that's our friend. You know, she's mad dope." And I'm like, "So that's the first time." You your existence even happened because now I'm trying to get a tour. No, it never happened, but now right. I know there's a. I know. It's yeah, okay. I didn't know. Sorry, right. I Don't didn't know. No I, one I told probably me. got no drunk and I forgot anyway. tour. So all I that was the first time of of my yeah. knowing that you exist. Girl, you were and I didn't get the name. You were the girl mm -hmm. construction manager of whatever. That's what that's what I you were. To me. So that's how it started. So then after that, mm -hmm. uh, me and my brother George would uh, hang out and, you know, he meant, I think he mentioned you. I'm not sure if he mentioned you or I saw you at Don Cookie first. I think he mentioned you. I'm not sure. But when I, when he did show up, he might, he might have mentioned I think you. So. Thank you. And much. when um, we did, um, well, with, before George, because I, I want to get into that so bad, but I, I have to follow my questions. I have to follow because I I, I want to get into I it because the fucking story is amazing, but we're not there yet. So back to the English Stadium. What? Back, I don't want to. I don't want to okay, skip okay. your talents. That's why. What exactly were you doing at Yankee Stadium? Like the title and everything. So, okay. So what? Well, let me just give you a little backstory. So my family's been in construction forever. And what we do is we have a nonprofit in Manhattan, Harlem specifically, and we recruit minorities, we train them, and then we place them onto different job sites throughout the city. So I was placed first at the um, Van Cortlandt filtration plant on the last stop of the four train at Jerome. And there I was the community outreach coordinator and I would pretty much hire um, local community residents who were interested in being placed on the job site. People, I was I saving the hood. Yes. Continue. Amazing. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. And then from there, then I went to Yankee Stadium and pretty much did the same thing, right? So what happened was a lot of people in the community weren't happy that they were going to be building this new Yankee Stadium. They didn't want the construction. They didn't want the traffic. They didn't want everything that was going to be, it, that would come with the construction site and the whole chaos and things like that. So the, the local council um, people would um, have these, you know, committee board meetings and they would pretty much uh, go back and forth on whether or not they were going to approve this project. And they ended up coming up with something called the CBA, the Community Benefit Agreement. And in that CBA, they said that if you guys approve of this building of the new Yankee Stadium project, we will hire 25% Fire. Fire. of the community. Fire. Boom, perfect. And then that's where my position came into play because I was the That's person so who had to make that happen. So we had a trailer. We had a Yankee Stadium trailer. I was the community outreach director along with someone else. And that's what we did pretty much. Hire from the community. Okay, so you're swing a hammer? Like, do no drywall, nothing? Oh, I thought you was working. No, like, not there. No, no, no. That's beautiful. So, okay. So I just wanted to get the backstory of Yankee Stadium. So now... We're gonna get into the to, to the to the good stuff. So now, the first time I actually met you, mm -hmm. I shook your hand and seen your face face to face and met you was in Donko. And you were my brother George. This motherfucker was the happiest. Mm -hmm. I, I've 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 known him at that point maybe for a year or two. That was the happiest I've ever seen him. And I'm like, yo, who's this? Like, you know, we were doing guy talk. Like, yo, who's the latest shorty? Like, you know, I thought there was gonna be another one after you next week or whatever. He was like, no. He actually said the words, this is the one. And I'm like, the fuck? 
Nigga, we don't talk like that because I was a player. You know, he was a fake player, but he was trying or whatever. Um, but the point, the, the point is, he said yeah. the words. Nah, nigga, she's the one. I'm like, all right, cool. So then we spoke later that, that week, and on Monday or Tuesday or whatever, we probably had a game, and I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, like, you really meant what you said that day? <laughs> the one. He said it again. Like, the nigga just kept saying it. I'm like, okay, we're just going to ride with this the one shit, right? So now we're going to let you take over. And how did you and, and my brother George meet? Yeah, and I know it's a long story, and I want it from the beginning. Yes. Continue. Well, we can't go. Always... Not the beginning. Not the beginning. Oh, but, you okay. Know, what, okay. Kind of well, like no, it's really not that long. Yeah, so my mom used to play softball. She used to play softball in uh, Castle Hill Little League. And um, she used to play ball with Tyson and Nicole. And so she was pretty much around that type of, um, around the community, the, the softball community. And, you know, when you're part of the community, you, you see everybody. And in passing, you say hello. And I used to see him all the time. And he was just somebody that I would just see. And, and that was it. But apparently throughout this whole time he had his major crush on me and um he held out <laughs> to that for, for a really long time he didn't give up he didn't show up and, and, so, my, you know, and mind you he up. had girls He's, and you had guys but it no. was still in the back of his mind nope this. that's it and i would see them in passing and you know years would go by and i would see him in the street and he'd drive by and i'd be like oh that's the guy from the park hi you know and he would wave and then that's really the extent of it and then one day i saw him i think i just came out of a relationship and i saw him at don Coqui, and um i was leaving don Coqui, so i bumped into him on my way out so when i bumped into him i was like oh my god hey hi how are you i don't even think i knew his name either i just remembered his face from the field and then um i don't know something told me to request him the next day on facebook and i did on oh, MySpace, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, he's correcting me. It's MySpace. I requested him on MySpace. <laughs> so apparently he remembers the story a lot better than I do. So, and then after that, it was. I mean, I was okay. So, it's the, time, so the day that I met Honestly. you in Dokoki for for his birthday, um, you know, all his all his childhood friends were there. You know, it was it was a pretty big deal. That that was first date, or that or you guys were already talking. That was our second day. So you met me on his actual birthday. Um, we had gone out one more time prior to that day. And that's the day that we use as an anniversary because ever since we hung out that first time, we pretty so much Don't were inseparable after the that. Second. Yeah, I hung out before that. Okay. So wait, Don't Go Geek, don't go geek is the anniversary or the, or the, the first day is the anniversary? Yeah. So the first day say him and I hung out. Got you. Okay. That's okay, the day cool. we use as our anniversary. All right. So from Don Goki, yes. it's pretty much like you said, it's a wrap. Um Yeah, like immediately. We were inseparable. So That's there's it. no like, there's no messing around. There's straight set like that nigga's book boyfriend and girlfriend. Like it's, it was it was Well I was I was dating somebody at the time. But I wasn't serious. No the guy no that I was dating, he, he was no just time. a rebound. Let's just tell the truth. No, no. And he didn't have a car. I mean, not that a car is important, but he, he lived in Queens, and it took him, like, forever to come see me. And then here comes George. You know, he's from the Bronx. He has a car. He just be calling me, like, oh, I'm outside. I want to give you a kiss. And I'm like, oh, guy had no, okay. The other guy had I'll no, be right out, you know? I couldn't do that with the Queens guy. No. If that guy wanted to come see me, I had to wait two hours for him to come see me from the train. Like, no, by that point, I don't want to see you anymore. So, <laughs> so, so you know, and then the, that, that one guy, he was like that. If I ever, um, that if I ever had to fart, I would have to leave the room. And then here, George comes and he's like, no, you can fart in front of me. That's no problem at all. I was like, yes, this is my if guy. I, I, people, I want you to know I've never heard this shit before. I've, I've heard a lot. I've never heard this. This is why I do this. This is why I do this, because I want to know my friends more. So, okay. So, obviously, there was a fart and there was a room. So, where so where did it go from Don Kuki to moving in with each other? How did that, like, how, how did that happen? Well, right before 
Jew and I got together, I had just bought a condo in uh, Westchester. And wait, 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 I was wait, wait, renovating. Wait, wait, wait. You're, not, you're not just going to let so that. So I was staying in my that like That's not a big deal. People, listen to what you just said. She, you purchased a condo. Is that what you just said? Goals. Goals. Goals, people. By myself. Goals, people. We're not paying rent around here. We're buying condos. And what year was this? And what year? And what year was this? <laughs> and nothing wrong with rent. 2009-ish. <laughs> Um, in 2009, we buying condos. 2009, people. yep. In 2009, yeah, nine, we condos. Continue. I'm sorry. And then, okay, so I was staying with my mom temporarily while I was renovating the condo, and I don't know, no lie, God, things happen so fast because then he moved in with me at my mom's what house. The, wait, wait, wait. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, is right away. This nigga? Where, where was just, he living? Was he living with his mom? So he wanted to get out of there. That's a, okay. That's what happens. I get it. I... That's it. He found himself a sugar mama. She's like, oh shit, she got money. She just bought herself a condo. She's gonna take care of me. I'm not. I'm not gonna vouch for that. My <laughs> man was doing con he, was do he was doing good for himself. Okay, but anyway, the point is immediately boom, and your mom accepted this. Did I look like that? Does she, does she speak Spanish she or English? Him. She. She right, speaks, so she oh, like, she's Yo. Spanish, but it's, it's, it's mostly English. Him. Unbelievable. He loved him. Um, no, well, he's, well, he's, very, he's very, he's very lovable. No, and that was that's it. my, that's my dog. I fuck with him forever. So, okay. So when do we get, so now the condo's reservation, uh, renovated. We get, we, so we obviously, eventually we get to Westchester, right? Move in. And now, inseparable. We move in. There. Where, mm -hmm. where did, let's fast forward. Um, that's where did marriage and Liam get in, come into the picture? Um, well, I never really wanted kids before Gio. I, got I didn't like children. <laughs> they're annoying. Hey, um, I got, I got two no. and they're both annoying, but I love them. Um, I don't know. I just, I never, I never thought I had the knack for it. Right. So that's why I never really, and I never really was any, with anybody who, who made me even want to touch on that topic. But now here he is, Prince Charming. He's in my life now. And I'm like, wow, if I'm going to have a kid, then it's going to be with this guy, right? So let's see. Three years in, you we decided it. Oh, to have it a baby. A, we planned it. It wasn't oops, there, here it is. Oops, <laughs> there, it wasn't oops, there it is. Got gotcha. you. Nope. Beautiful thing. Liam was planned. So we got pregnant. And then Gio proposed to me. I was there. At was our there. baby shower. I was there. I remember my outfit and everything. And I was with, I was with my lady at yep. the time. My name was Marcy. Was I, I'm, not, I'm gonna try to mention Marcy's name in every single live. That's because that's my nigga. That's that's my nigga. I Marcy's Marcy. dope. Um, all right. So we got to that. Um, so are we just gonna say happily ever after? Can we just end that? Can we just end it? Can we can can we can we get yes. a, a, a yes, cameo? 100%. Please? I need There's people to no understand point. who are we talking about. If you don't know this beautiful specimen. <laughs> So you know sometimes how you have dreams, right? And you have these good dreams, like damn, you just want a million dollars, and then you wake up and you're like, "Fuck!" Do that not shit was say, fake. "Do not say you wake up miserable. from a dream every day." Is that what happened? Is that what you're gonna say? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. But does that ever happen to you where you have like a really good dream, yes. and then you wake up and you're so sad that it was just a dream? Okay. So I dream. Well, I guess you could call it a nightmare. I guess because I, in my nightmares, I'm not with him. And I'm so sad. And then I um, wake up and I'm like, oh, he's right next to me. That, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm happy that it was just a nightmare. Babe, they want to see you. Cameo, we just want to see the beautiful specimen. Cameo, real of, quick. Uh, of, of the, who are we talking? We've been talking about you for 20 minutes. We got to see you, bro. Yeah, that's my dog. That's my dog. Yo. Happily ever after. All right, Yo. so we're going to end the Geo story. Happily ever after. <laughs> Now we're gonna get into this money, cause you yes. getting money, you getting no, money. <laughs> so people, let me. This is the good part of we're gonna we're gonna end the interview talking about uh, entrepreneurship, ownership, goals, dreams. Uh, you know, think that I guarantee you, and I, and I mentioned it with my boy Frank last week, and he ended the show talking about goals. Like, if you know how to tattoo. You know what? Go fucking YouTube. 
Go find out how to get your license. If you want to be, you know, a cop, if you want to be a fireman, whatever the fuck you want to be, go go do that shit and find out, you know, how to open a business. If you know how to do hair, nails, whatever. So I had the, 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 the pleasure of, of going to her shop. And I didn't go to, to her shop by mistake. Like, you know, I told her, you know, she was like, let's meet up. I'll be at work. And I said, okay, you know what? Um, it was supposed to be Monday, but I could not wake up. I was dumb tired. I work, I work nights, so I, it, sometimes it's very difficult. So I kind of um, stood her up on Monday. She forgave me, and she forgave me, but we did it on Tuesday, you God did. damn it. You so did. on Tuesday, I go to her job, and as soon as I get to her job, she's sitting there like a boss signing a big-ass check, and I'm like, God damn, like, I just been... Um, I know it's big. You look at it. It was kind of big. Um, I think it was like <laughs> thousand or some shit. I don't remember. <laughs> but um, so as soon as I get there, you you doing you was like, yo, give me a second. You know, blah blah blah. You doing your thing because I'm you actually at work. So I'm just sitting there like, yo. And he was like, all right, let's go downstairs. And I'm like, oh shit, what's downstairs? Your shop is downstairs. And like people, another part. I went to the shop. I, I recorded it. Yeah. I put it on my live. Super dope. And you know what? Ex explain to the people why and Thank how you. the shop is that like why and, and why is it so convenient that you work upstairs and the shop is downstairs and how you got the space and whatever well it wasn't always like that so i was working upstairs we run about i don't know six construction companies from upstairs um and then i would leave to go to um a lash place and i would do lashes out of another establishment and it was becoming inconvenient after a while because i was so busy with all these construction companies upstairs and doing work and processing payroll and being human resources and being cfo and pretty much wearing a lot of hats upstairs for all these companies that I was leaving work i was leaving work undone to then go to do lashes somewhere Right. And for the longest time, my uncles, because they own a lot of the companies that we run, um, they would always tell me, oh, well, why don't you renovate the basement and then you can have your shop downstairs. And I'm just like, no, I'm just so busy. Like I couldn't even process the thought of it at that moment because I'm like, oh, I do this. I do T-shirts. I, I paint and I do this like to add something else to well, it was what, just what too was much there? at the Nothing. time. And then one day it just clicked. And I was just like, you know what? Like, like, oh, it was just a basement. Okay. It was storage pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, like if you go downstairs, you might get like a water bug jumping on you. Like it was just pure no, 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 nothingness, nothing storage and dirty and whatever. Got nothing, you. nothing, black hole, nothing. <laughs> and then they kept bringing it up, and one day I just said yes. And that yes, from that moment I said yes to two months later. That whole thing was just revamped, and then my I was there. Was it's born. fucking amazing. I had my nose waxed. Amazing experience. Um, it's a little. It's a, the breathing is fine. The, yeah, how are you breathing? What I what the the weirdness is, you know, and we're gonna get a little gross here, but I want the people that never got their nose waxed to understand. Your shit is clean. It's like it's just nothing there. There's no more hair. So the boogers are not in the hair no more. The boogers are on the skin. So you so when you pick lately, I've been picking boogers, right? <laughs> but there's but the hairs usually help you. But now the boogers are fucking sliding all over the place. Anyway, I, I got too deep. My bad. No, because when the boogers get attached to the, does. the it, hairs, it, it, doesn't it yes, hurt yes, when you pull out 100%. the booger and then you're pulling out a it's, hair? It's with amazing. It? I got a, I got a photo wax, happening. but in my nose. So it's amazing, people. So, and wait a minute. And I got a tattoo, people, right here. Got a tattoo right there. It was, yes. It, 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 and this, this is the backup because she was supposed to do something else. But I, I did, I did chicken out because you, did, you, you didn't have the out. eye of the tiger. You had the eye of the pendeja, and I got scared, and I was like, "I'm not doing this." <laughs> no, no, that's not what happened. <laughs> and by the way, Jack, Jack is my favorite, and that's I got another Jack over here. So I got now I got two Jacks. So you know, I was. I, Wait, but let's just be clear. Yes. I just started tattooing, right? And I started tattooing because I just felt like it. Because I said one day, I want a tattoo. 
And I already have my tattoo license because I do microblading, which is semi-permanent uh, cosmetic tattooing of the eyebrows, right? In New York City, you need your tattoo license. So I already had that. And I'm an artist. So I was like, fuck it. I can tattoo. What's so hard? But I'm also not, I've never worked in a tattoo parlor. I haven't apprenticed for anyone. So I was like, well, fuck it. How am I going to do this? So I took a quick online course and I YouTube my ass off. And then I requested models. And that's where you came along. And you said, hey, I don't care if you yep. fuck up the tattoo because I got a lot of fucked up tattoos. <laughs> so, hey, you could tattoo me. And I was like, perfect. This is great. You took off the edge. You lessened my anxiety because I'm like, okay, if I fuck it up, it's not going to be no big deal, whatever. And you said you wanted Darth Vader. And I was amped to do Darth Vader. <laughs> you came in like a pendejo and changed your hey, mind. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know, people, people, l listen to whoever you want to listen to. All I know is that it didn't happen, and I got another Jack, and it's and I love my Jack. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. And you know what? He's actually we, very we, cute. We, we, we go, next time, we're going to get bigger. We're going to do some other shit. Don't worry about it. We're going we're gonna to figure this shit out. That's you know, it. You know, we, you your shade there, is you know. nice. You did a, like, that's a circle. I don't, I, I don't know how to tattoo, but I heard. Straight lines and circles, it's not fucking easy. So, you know what? Applause to you. I applause to you. No, you did it's a not. fucking amazing Thank job. Thank you. So, people, I am not only her friend, Thank I you. am a customer and I've been supporting her with her t shirts and and I'm down. And, and that's what it's all about. You know what? You Supporting each other. And, you know, if your friend's a barber, hey, let him fuck up your hair one day. Let's just let him try it out. <laughs> Fuck it. Just let it let's play. Right, exactly. Fuck I mean, how else you are know, we going to learn? Fuck it, up and all that shit. So, is that what? Would you really do that? No. Uh, no, no. The, the guy, the, this, this beard is, is perfect because <laughs> my father, Rudy, is phenomenal. And I've been knowing him for fucking 30 years. So, okay. So, now let's get to, we got the shop downstairs, right? Um, from what i seen, a lot yes. of shit happens down there. That's not just tattoo. So break it down to the people. Break break it down to the people. No, no. Ta tattoo is the latest addition to Zen by Nez. So we started off doing eyelash extensions, brow tinting, brow extensions, brow lamination. No, don't, don't worry about it. The people. I know you probably people, don't know what they, any of those things are. <laughs> okay. We also do facials. Did I say full body waxing? Full body waxing. We do laser hair removal. Who's we? Wait, 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 wait. I, we there's only you. You haven't, you haven't like, there's other people working on it? So I hired a girl. Her name is Diola. I hired her as my manager. She's amazing. She's so we got dope. A two, so we got a two girl. So now and, we got a two girl. Team. Um, it's just us two there. Yo, we got to make this, yo, we got to make this into like a five, ten girl team. Yep. Yo, this, only hire girls. No niggas. Like, let's make this shit girl power. Fuck it. <laughs> That's it. So That's okay, it. so so continue. What's, what's, what's... So let's see. So buck cupping. Okay, thanks, babe. Buck cupping, because he knows what I do. And um oh, we're gonna be adding anal bleaching soon. Money. Niggas is it's a yo. thing. It's a niggas, thing. yo, you people get, yo, you get, you yo, gotta, you, get you money, gotta bro. serve I just, the people. I, I don't want to count your pockets, but you're getting money. Um, so there's so much money to be made, so much money. That's why when people come to me and they're like, "Oh, well, how do you do this? How do you do that?" I don't have to teach and, 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 and give my way, knowledge people, because Tuesday, nobody's there was no freebies. I put up my card and I was charged because that's what you do. You don't ask your friends, "Hey, I know you. Hey, you know and me." I, Fuck all that yeah. bullshit. If your man or your girl or your friend got a fucking shop or the whatever, you fucking pay. Don't ask the price. Don't ask for no discount. Because you know what? That's You're not a real fucking friend. You're fucking welfare fucking trying to be discount. No, we don't do that. We don't do that bullshit. If, if, they, if your friend says fucking $100, it's $100. And you know what? Support your friends. And, you know, so back to the... And Thank that's you. why I'm here, Abby. I'm here to support you. I'm so happy and proud of you that you decided I to do this whole I live I podcasting. I like I'm Friday, literally I'm rooting for you. Making the make, let me tell you how this is how this how it started though because I don't know if you remember in, in uh, if you watched episode one, but I was I was I I, I, I suffer from uh, panic attacks, anxiety, depression. You know, it's, it's like a whole bunch of shit. And and you know I don't know when it's coming. 
So this year it came the, meh, November ish. No, a little November, but the, it kind of skipped. The holidays helped out. Then I got COVID, and like Christmas, New Year's, I got COVID, and I was just home chilling. Like I, uh -huh. I wasn't like you know I didn't have no no health issues or nothing. But then January hit me hard. February hit me hard. So when I came out of it, because you know you come out of it and you know Xanax is amazing, like I said before, but. One day I was at work, like I said, and I just made a, a, a I made a long ass um, stories in my IG, and you know you already know me. I could talk shit all day. Me and you talk shit like, while George is fucking running around like a maniac. I don't know why. He wants to fucking retire already. He wants to keep playing the stupid ass fucking softball. <laughs> I, me and you, we been I, I retired fucking shit. three, four years ago because I don't give a fuck about chasing no goddamn balls no more. Me and you could talk for fucking nine, <laughs> seven, nine innings, whatever the fuck it is, two games, and we. I'm drinking, you drinking, we just talk, we just talking shit. So uh -huh. you already know I can talk shit. So now I'm just doing it with my friends. And you know what? Next week I got another friend that, you know, I'm talking to. And right now it's all my friends. So I got 20, I got about nine, 18, 19, 20 friends that agreed to, you know, and you know what? We all support That's each amazing. other because, you know, we got to put your business out there. You know, I'm, I'm you know, talking to the people. You know, my daughter helped me. You know, episode two was my brother. Last week was my, my friend Frank. And it's all about helping each other. You know what? And if no one's watching, who cares? If if we're just talking and, you know, whatever comes out of it comes out of it. But for me, this is therapy. And that's why that's why I, I decided to do this. So, yeah. you know, no, it's, it's, it's dope. Like so, it. you know, yeah, so like back to the shop. So you're doing all these things. What's, what do you have... Um, in, in, in the works, because I can't even imagine what George goes through. You probably just be laying watching TV, babe. I want to be a fucking astronaut, and he's like, "Yeah, go fucking go for it." <laughs> yeah, that's it's the it's the truth though. Because one day, I decided I wanted to start tie dyeing shit, so I went to Michael's, and not only did I buy one color but i bought every color that they had because i knew that i was gonna tie dye the shit out of these white clothes great so he comes home and he's like what the fuck babe there's colors everywhere and i'm tie dyeing every white pair of socks i got in my drawer i'm looking for white panties i'm looking for white t-shirts i'm tie dyeing everything and now I fucking yo, sell my is, I can't, yo, I cannot, Hello? I cannot make this shit up. I mean, this it's so easy hard. to do. I, 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 I'm going to tell you one thing right now. And, I, and I'm not shitting on the rest of my friends that I know in this world. I know no one like you. You are, that's, that's fucking amazing. And George must be fucking thrilled every fucking day. Oh, you want to be, you want to do this, you want to do that. And I'm sure he supports you to death. And. Oh yeah, he supports me. He gets worried sometimes. Like, oh, he's like, "Okay, babe, what's next?" But hey, it comes to the territory. It's who I am. I'm never gonna stop. I call and, myself a forever you told student. Me the, the little, teaching uh, myself the, something. The stone mountain pyramid thing. What? What is that? Oh, the Oregon pyramid. That shit is so dope. Oh wait, babe, can you get the one from the room so I can show? Oh my god! So organ pyramids are the best. It's a combination of resin with metals. You mix some colors in there. Um, what it does is it sucks up all the negative energy, recycles it, spits it back out, positive and clean. I can't. So I literally this up, have people. one in every yeah, room yo, of my I'm house. I'm gonna just say this right now. My friends are dope. Matter of fact, I need, I need a shirt. Look at that. Oh. And, and explain that you didn't buy that shit. You made it. No, so I made this. I made it uh, to match the decor in my bedroom. So I can literally do any color that anybody requests. But if you see, I have medals on the bottom. I'm fucking believable. I, I, I can't make the people. I can't make this shit up. I'm fucking telling you. My friends are fucking dope, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. They and she's and she's fucking phenomenal. So how many get you know we we're gonna wrap it up and we this is the, the motivational part. Um you got I got a 10-year-old boy. You got, how old is Liam? Okay, nine and 10. Um, nine. We all have nieces and nephews and friends and, and cousins. And 
give 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 a little motivational you know how to do or what to do if you have an idea if you have if, if you know how to do something you know pretty much the way i wrapped up last week what 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 would you tell someone that says and then how do you do all this how, you know you you have a job and then you do a hustle after work and then you tattoo and then you do like how how like what would you tell someone with just one idea well the things that I do is pretty much because I feel like it. Because I wake up one day and I say, I want to learn this. And no one can stop me from doing what I want to do, right? So it doesn't take a lot of money to teach yourself something. YouTube is the freaking shit. You could go on YouTube and you can teach yourself absolutely anything. And you'd be surprised how much money you can make just by being self-taught. And, you know, a lot of people they let their age discourage them or they'll let their finances discourage them. But what I usually say, and it's what I say to myself all the time too, you know, five years, three months, two years is always going to come, right? In two years, where do you want to be? It's going to come regardless. Time is not going to stop for you. So in that two year time, what are you going to do from now until then? And where do you want to be when that time comes? You want to be right in the same position that you are now, or you want to be, you know, more lucrative and you want to be more knowledgeable and wiser right so that's what i usually say it's gonna come the time is gonna come you know in the beginning you know i had somebody tell me oh you know well, i want to go back to school but it's gonna take me three years okay so three years is gonna come you know do you want crazy? a degree yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end of the that, three years or do you, you want to just crazy? be right where you and this is fucking sad but i'm gonna say it anyway so i went to james monroe right and george also went to james monroe a little, a little after me but you know still he went to I was going to be class, because, you know, when you first get the orientation and all that shit, they give you a little teddy bear with a little fucking, with a little fucking, uh, you know, whatever they call that shit, the, the, the gown, that cap and gown, right? Uh -huh. And the little teddy bear to motivate you, right? You know, it says class, my class would have been 1994. So I would have been, if I would have fucking stood the fucking, on the path, I would have graduated in 1994. I said to myself, what the fuck you just said? Mm -hmm. In 1990, this is fucking four. I'm not doing this shit. Fuck school. I'm going to go fucking sell drugs. I'm going to go write graffiti. I'm going to go do some dumb shit. And you know when I got my GED? In 1995. So the fact that you just said <laughs> that shit, it just hit me like idiot. Yeah. 1994 was going to come regardless. It's, 1994 was not going to wait for me. And you know what happened? I dropped out. I went to a bunch of charter schools. Right. I went to a bunch of programs. I went to, and got my GED in 95. Like a fucking idiot. When all I had to do was wake up every morning, go to school, raise my hand, answer two questions, maybe one, and that's it. But no. But, so continue with the, with the, with the motivation. Because right. it's, it's, it's kind of late for me, but maybe the, well, it's not late. I just nope. go to school if I felt like it. Was but I'm not. But continue. <laughs> That was that was some good motivation. Oh, I, I thought, I thought right you had now. more. I don't what do know. you want? <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful. Maybe so, come to me. like right I said, now, I um, let me let you get back to your family. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. Um, I appreciate. You. Um, I love you guys. You guys are, 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 are two of my two of my best friends. Um, and you know that was episode four, and and I appreciate you. And we're gonna do it again. Um, or not this, but we're gonna do the we're gonna do the bench talk again this week. Uh, if I see you in the park, <laughs> maybe, maybe one day you actually come and you do the Darth hey. Vader. I did okay. Scared. I didn't have this. Now I know that you could do this. So you know, little it's, it's step by step. You know what I'm saying? Step by step. We're gonna we're gonna get the goddamn we're gonna get the goddamn Darth Vader. Okay, we're gonna hey, so get it. Now, now now I I have to get it because. <laughs> Now I feel like the fucking pendejo, so we're gonna make it happen. It. Have... We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> but um, thank you so much. Have a good night. Love you guys, and um, I'll see you You're soon. Welcome. Thank you. All right, babe. Thank you.